doing today I'm gonna to be talking about um, a couple of things that hidden figures the movie taught me about black women in STEM me I'm in engineering so I relate more to the engineering side of things hidden figures is a movie just in general about STEM and so much more but um, yeah there are a couple of things that um, I learned while watching the movie I just felt like talking about them because I'm looking forward to pursuing a career in, in engineering which is part of STEM so that's why I'm going to be talking about this today. So the movie Hidden Figures, for everybody who hasn't seen it, I really recommend um, for you to watch it. So it's set in the 1960s in Virginia and it's basically about three, um, three scientists, mathematicians. So the movie centers on um, three pioneering black women whose mathematical calculations were very important for uh, multiple space missions. And one of those important missions was um, John Glenn's Orbit of the Earth. So it's Katherine Johnson, Mary Jackson, um, who was the first NASA, first black female um, NASA engineer, and Dorothy Vaughn. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Since the movie is set in the 1960s Virginia, it happened during a time where segregation was still very pre prevalent, prevalent. They were facing racism and segregation at home, at work, in school, everywhere basically. One major thing that I took away from the movie was that representation matters. Many young black girls aren't um, from a young age being exposed to like black female scientists, mathematicians, programmers, um, whatever it may be. I believe that's because it has historically been a white male dominated field and it's often represented as such like in textbooks and movies. Like it's always white old men. Like we're not gonna I'm not gonna lie about that. Even in kindergarten, you already know, kids already know about Albert Einstein. You rarely hear about Dr. Williams, who was a black uh, physician who performed the first um, prototype heart transplant or heart surgery. You hardly hear about Gladys West. Gladys West was a mathematician. She basically um, invented a model of the earth, which was the foundation used to um, create GPS. So there's a statistic that I found on the um, on the National Science Foundation website and it says that women of color make up less than one in ten employed scientists and engineers so this that's less than 10 percent and that to me is just crazy obviously seeing um, seeing those three women being very um, resourceful and motivated and determined to achieve their goals and to not let um, society define them and what they can do or not do. It strengthened my confidence in terms of going for engineering and pursuing a career in that field. So that's why I feel like representation really matters. From a young age, I didn't really know many um, many black people who were into STEM. It was never something that I really found interesting. I, never, I, I used to hate math as a, ch as a child. But then, as I got older, I would meet lots of me or see in, I don't know, on YouTube or whatever, black engineers, black um, scientists, male and female. And I don't know, it really intrigued me that, oh, like, people that look like me actually do this and are interested in this and can um, be successful in this field. And so, then I was like, oh, if they can do it, why can't I? So obviously, if you don't see your identity mirrored in, in an area or in in a field um, but you know that deep down that's what you're really passionate about and that's what you love to do realistically oftentimes people then tend to back down from going for that engineering major or um, I don't know going for that math club in junior high the math club that was in our school only consisted of boys it was just white boys. I was the only black girl in my school anyway, but it was just boys. And it's like, from a young age, you're almost like, okay, that's literally a boys club. I don't even want to be part of that. So another thing that I took away from the um, Hidden Figures movie was, till today, racism and discrimination are real in the workplace, are, is real. While watching the movie, I was like, okay, if someone's coming at me with their passive aggression, how do I handle that? How do I respond to it? How do I take that? And how 
how do you just how do you deal with in, deal with situations like that and how do you respond because obviously you're at work um someone's you know throwing slight you know the those low jabs where it's like mm, it's like a disguised insult you know what i mean and it's like how do you respond to that like how can you deal with it me in general i'm quite a reserved and quiet person so i don't know like in that case i don't know how i would how i would deal with it obviously i've never had a job or anything i'm not working i'm still a student but even in in, in school and university in any sort of social environment you're in i have been in situations where i'm facing racist comments basically um or just how to deal with someone who really is just racist and maybe just grew up that way or was because racism is taught right so how do you how do you respond to people in a way that that lets them know yo i'm not taking your bs and secondly let me educate you real quick but thirdly let me not lose my job because that's what here i'm what, what i'm here to do i love my job i want to stay um but i'm not gonna take whatever it is you're giving me right now that's something that um I started to think about while I was watching the movie as a black person and maybe for someone who's watching who isn't black or brown for for black people it's a thing to be thinking about how you maneuver a system that's rooted in white supremacy and patriarchy especially as a black woman like and obviously I'm not saying that oh like I've been through such horrific things but I feel like there are a handful of things that every black woman faces and at least in the Western world I would say in countries where uh, whiteness is the norm almost and you literally have to think about yo what would I do another conclusion that I pulled from the movie was that if engineering if science if 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 math if technology is your passion do not let anyone steer you away from it do not let anyone demotivate you do not let anyone tell you what you can and cannot do as a woman do not let anyone tell you what your role is as a woman in this world i haven't had anyone come to me and be like yo like as a woman you're, you're gonna want to consider something else do not let anyone define to you what um careers women can pursue and cannot pursue if you really want to do it go for it if you really like math if you really like tech if you really like robotics if you really like whatever it is just and i know it's hard and it's um easier said than done especially when you have parents or relatives who are really pushy with their opinions and maybe they maybe they themselves are scientists maybe they themselves are in stem and really want you to go for it or they aren't and um they really wish for themselves to have um pursued a career in that field but they i don't know didn't have the opportunities or whatever and now they want you to do it basically living their dream for them that's why i say it's either easier said than done but honestly in general whatever your passion is or whatever you want to do as a career you're doing it for you in the end as an adult you're gonna be the one working that job nine to five you're gonna be the one struggling because you're not doing what you really want to do um, you're almost forced so I really think about it and so for me I really love math and chemistry I've always had a love for math it's just that when I was younger and I, I like I believe like I just didn't get the the main problem was that I didn't get the I didn't get the basics I didn't get the fundamentals and then as you progress as years progress obviously skills build on top of each other and if you're not <laughs> If your foundation isn't strong you're not gonna really be able to catch up so then once I did catch up I was like wait what just happened it happened in grade 10 and I don't know what exactly happened but all of a sudden I was like wait this is so much fun like this is so fulfilling what the heck is going on and this is me in math class and I was like what and then over the years I would also develop passion for chem so now I really love chem and math and that has now led me to pursue um, a career in chemical engineering engineering is basically the application of whatever knowledge you acquire in relation to sciences so that can be math um, physics chemistry whatever and obviously I'm into chemistry so that's why I'm going 
for chemical engineering and biomedical engineering because um, I also really love human sciences um, specifically anatomy and stuff like that. Another lesson that I took away from the movie is that it's really important to support people who are interested in going into STEM especially if you notice that they're not sure about themselves um, and in this case I'm talking specifically about black girls black young girls there's um, kids are always gonna be kids right you know how smart kids in in junior high or even in elementary school are always labeled as the nerd which at a young age you will interpret with um, to you it will have a negative connotation because obviously kids use that word to make fun of you and then maybe you you end up growing up with it and then you're just like yeah but I don't want to be a nerd as you get older like me yes I am a nerd I read lots of books I love math I love sciences so yes like if you know someone who 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 really wants to do it just tell them yeah like I believe in you like you can do it like go for it you know just support someone who you know is interested um, in STEM, whatever whatever science it is. Since engineering um, is based on lots of teamwork um, and team effort and everybody is contributing their sort of ideas, we just need more people of different backgrounds and different experiences because there are thousands and thousands and millions of kids out there who are so creative, so in innova innovative, innovative, in well, they could become the next groundbreaking scientist. They could become the next groundbreaking engineer. You never know. So it's always important to support whoever it is. Um, if it's a friend, if it's a relative, just let them know that, yeah, they can do it. And maybe um, if you're older than them, point out other black people who have been successful in whatever field they want to go into. You can point out um, potential potential contemporary role models to them that can serve as blueprints for success. It could just be that one documentary, it could just be that one movie, it could just be that one person they meet that can change everything for them and really reassure them um, in whatever they want to do. Like me personally, I've met um, lots of black engineers, black chemical engineers specifically, and that has just reinforced my desire to pursue a career in that field. And so if you can, um, or if you have a network or if you I don't know even if it's to just show them a documentary so that they can see oh like there's a black person like in the lab doing very important experiments like I can do that too if I want to it's very important that individuals from um, from underrepresented groups um, see that socially constructed barriers can be overridden they can be overridden they can be overcome and they have been in the past and that's what basically hidden figures showed me that's what it taught me that's what um i took away from it and that's what i hope you take away from it as well if you watch the movie so that's it that's my again my two cents on that topic i hope you could take something away from this in the future i believe there's going to be more um engineering related videos because that's what i'm into and that's what i want to talk about so i'm going to talk about it other than that yeah there's not much i want to say that's all I wanted to get off my chest. Take care um, and see you in the next one.